my daily driver. Um, it's it's uh, it's a da 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 da. C three PO is over here in the corner. <laughs> <I> <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Building Built Right. As you can see, I am standing in front of our new shop build. Last week we said goodbye to our 2021 Bronco. You saw a little bit of that. And a few weeks ago, we went and picked up this 2023 Ford Raptor. And this will be our next R&D project. Uh, we started the business in my garage and basement and I had a 2018 Raptor at the time. So this is kind of me having the opportunity to get back to what I know and love. Um, it's also a great platform. It's grown a lot since Gen 1 and Gen 2. This Gen 3 is a great truck. So this vehicle for us is going to be another build project. You guys seem to like the F-150 and the other builds that we've shared with you. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to tie it into our Building Built Right series. Um, so to consider this video one, I suppose, of this 2023 Raptor build. We are not going to modify anything today, but don't leave just yet. We're going to clean it up. I'll give you a tour of the truck. We'll talk a little bit about what we're trying to get out of it. We'll talk about some of the partners maybe that we're hoping to work with. We are gonna give you a bit of a tour. We're gonna tell you kind of our plan for the truck. We'll probably solicit some input um, and we may even spend some time kind of protecting it before we neglect it for a few years. So um, <laughs> check it out. Cool. All right, so I am not uh, an expert in all of the options and features in every single truck that we sell parts for. People kind of ask me questions as if I am. I'm really not. But um, the Raptor in 23, um, they've rolled a lot of options that were options in 2018 when I bought my first Raptor into just kind of the standard Raptor package. This truck has the Recaro seats. I don't know how this will show up on video in photos, these often look like a really offensive blue color. Um, they are blue, but it's in real life. It's a lot more subdued um, yes. and subtle than in photos. In photos, these sometimes look like my STI seats, which are like blue, blue. Um, these are great. Uh, so that, that's, I'm liking that so far. Um, obviously it's got the large sync screen. Because it's a 23 and because I guess we're blaming COVID uh, still for this, it does not have the heated steering wheel. Really? Um, that is an option on this truck that saves you $140. Um, I think on my old, on my other truck, on our F-150, there's temperature uh, readings on these knobs, and there's not in this truck. Hmm. Uh, just a couple of things I've noticed there. Um, one of the things this has that our F-150 doesn't is you can fold this down, which our other truck has, but this has got the fold-out work uh, surface. That's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't had a use for it yet. Um, I will say one of the things I'm noticing about this is, and I notice this because people sometimes will put tech plates on the inside cover of this, mm. but it's kind of heavy when it's got this work surface. I noticed that earlier. Yeah. Um, so I kind of, I can't help but wonder if there's an opportunity to beef up the spring or something and make that a little bit more usable. Mm. Um, other than that, this is probably not a whole lot different than any other newer Raptor. Um, I'm not, I'm not in love with this like faux carbon fiber surface. It looks, it, it's a little bit at a glance, you might believe it is. My 2018 had the carbon fiber package, which had carbon fiber on here and here and then on the, uh, on the shifter as well. Oh, it's not going to come back up. I was going to show you. Huh. Another thing. I'll get back to it. But I think you can't get the carbon fiber package in a 23 Raptor and the Recaro seats. Well, that doesn't make much um, sense. Huh. I think. I'm not patient enough to order a truck anyway, so this didn't have it and I can overlook that. But one of the other things I was, was going to show you was this shifter, if it were to... Come back up here. <laughs> there we go. Um, my, my 2018 had buttons here for manual shifting. And this doesn't, and I, I can't help but wonder if that's a, a supply chain issue hmm. as well. Other than that, the dash and the dash tray are the same as our inner 21 F-150, so I'm looking forward to installing a dash mount and, uh, and cell phone mounts because I'm desperately in need of a place to put my phone while I'm driving. 
but I'm holding off so that we can share all of this with you. You'll notice there's no built right product on it yet. I think that's kind of it for the front seat. Kind of cool. Uh, Max, you were mentioning this earlier, but the headrests are perforated and there's a speaker in there. The sound system generally is, is good. I think it's better than my 2018 with the Bang & Olufsen, comparable to the Rivian Okay. with their Meridian system. So it's, it's good. It's good enough, certainly. Um, I did not expect to see speakers up here in the headrests everywhere it's an off-roader <laughs> but it's like a it's a luxury it's, truck. it's, it's a comfortable truck yeah yeah uh one of the things kind of cool on the steering wheel here is changing modes so on the uh on the right hand side you can change your steering feel your suspension and your exhaust there's different exhaust volumes she sounds good so this is sport mode Controlled by a valve under the truck, and then there's also the um, My R or the R Raptor setting. I'm not sure what they're calling it. The upper left-hand corner there, it's got the R button. Huh. So you can kind of configure your favorite combination of settings, <clears throat> and then set that as a default that you can easily recall using that button. That's interesting. All right. So cool. I'm, 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 on this truck, I never have on any other trucks I've had. Um, I want to find a use for this compartment. Hmm. My 2018 had the, you know, that, that dumb little tray in yep. there, yep. and the 21 and this both have this little compartment. And I'm kind of wondering if we do that CB radio or something, we can oh, mount a head unit in here nicely or something. That'd be very but cool. Otherwise, that's that's a lot of wasted space. I did actually, I just found the window sticker. Let's see if I'm missing. Um, advanced security pack removal. That saved us $50. All right. <laughs> Uh, Moonroof and tailgate. That this truck obviously has those things. The tailgate, the plique, applique, the, the fucking thing on the oh, back. They, they uh, there was that. a there was a bunch of trucks that didn't have that. I think that was a supply chain thing also. Huh. Uh, this doesn't have auto start stop. That's nice. It's got the blue interior package. It's got the forged aluminum wheels, the beadlock capable wheels. We'll show you those. That's it. Everything else is uh, is standard equipment in a 23 at least. Raptor. Yeah. So yeah. let's see what's in the backseat. Cool. You may remember this spatula. This is our tactical spatula from April Fools this year. <laughs> uh, we listed them on our website for sale, I think for $175 each. And uh, surprisingly, or maybe Unsurprisingly, uh, a handful of you did order them. So instead of refunding your money, we made the spatulas. So we got uh, parts back from forming. This is nice uh, laser cut CNC formed out of stainless steel. Got a whole bunch of those. <laughs> this is, I'll maybe call it like the bat wing. Um, this will attach to the front of the spatula like we showed you. These still need to go out for um, black texture powder coating. And then we got the uh, billet handle pieces back from machining and anodizing. Those are looking slick. These assemble something like this. So nice countersunk hardware. Uh, next step for these is that we're gonna be engraving built right on here. And then for the folks that ordered and have been patiently waiting, we're doing a custom engraving for them on the top if requested. So we've gotta do a little bit of everything uh, to each of these parts to continue processing them giving out the door but now that they're here that's kind of the fun part so we will keep you in the loop on this over the course of the next week probably and try and get these out the door these are very high priority as we can as, this as is the highest priority these are our oldest orders in the system though so <laughs> every day our erp system is barking at me that these customers have been waiting and that the parts are here so um there is incentive there to get them out the door <laughs> grilling season is not almost over All right, so we are in the back seat. I didn't mention, but these are, these front seats are heated and cooled. Um, standard, the back seats are heated. 
Um, I've got one headrest out because I had car seats in here until a couple of minutes ago. Um, like in the older trucks, this one's got a rear seat release already in it on the passenger side. It doesn't on the driver's side. I know some trucks underneath here have an option um, for like a, a store, like a plastic fold out storage system. This truck doesn't have that. Um, in fact, <clears throat> my 18 had a plastic piece that spanned from here to there. And this has got nothing. So I kind of wonder if there's an opportunity for a product there for, sure. for folks like me that don't have um, that piece or the under. Was that piece like that? That's in the current or the uh, the 21 F150. Is that for a subwoofer? Because I four and a half year old swimming goggles. <laughs> Should be happy I found this. Uh, this is power inverter. Okay. So I believe this is power inverter for the bed power. Gotcha. Um, the amp or amps are probably behind that seat back there. Okay. Which That's we easy. can't access because we don't have a rear seat release installed yet. Yeah, we need to get one of those installed here. But there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of storage space, and of course it's the the loop material for hook and loop. So our yeah. So we'll put we'll put uh, tech panels and pouches on here so that I don't have stuff sliding around. We'll do seat back panels on here. Um, couple ideas there for products. Uh, I'm just really excited. This is very similar to the 2018 that I had and the 21 that we do have, obviously. But it's a truck that I'm really excited about. I've got some product ideas that I've had some of them for years. This is a good excuse to, to maybe play with some of that. And we'll share that with you in these videos. Cool, cool. Nice. Well, there's not a ton to see back here, but it looks good. And that panoramic, panoramic sunroof does extend all the way back. So kids have a good view. All right, so if you guys hear this banging in the background of this week's video, it's, yep, that's the noise. They are going the opposite route that we did, which was to blast away the rock. Uh, they are hammering away at the rock. They've been at this for two days now, and we'll see how long it takes to really get this, uh, this hill broken down. So uh, real quick, you mentioned the, the sunroof, panoramic, moonroof, whatever they're calling it. Um, that was an option in this truck. It's actually desirable, or at least it was, to not have that hmm. because they are prone to breaking and leaking. Oh. And it's really, it's really expensive to, uh, to repair. So I, I think if you're like a really hardcore off-road person, you're, you're trying to find a truck or ordering a truck that doesn't have that. Uh, for me, I, I enjoy it. And I, if I have problems, I'll... That'll be a later beat problem. I was going to say, we'll include that in a later video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, bed of the truck, as you can see, is untouched. Um, we haven't done a spray in bed liner. I actually typically like our rubber bed mat. I kind of like keeping the paint. Um, our bedside racks do a pretty good job of protecting it. It kind of shows off the products a little bit better. But we'll, we'll see what we do in here. I've always kind of wanted to try a bed rug, but I don't know if that suits me well. Uh, or my use well, but we'll go from there. Uh, this truck does have the OEM box link plates. Um, so that'll save us the headache of, of threading these holes there. Um, we do have now, which we didn't have in 2018 or for our 21, um, our box link plates and hardware kits. So it wouldn't be a big deal, but we'll do bedside racks on this. We'll do the, the uh, bulkhead accessory rail for sure. This is new. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure which year it's from but this kind of plastic insert here that's got some rulers and a, I think they want you to, I think they want you to like. Is that a phone? Set your phone here. <laughs> Not my phone. <laughs> All right, well, it's, there's storage for something. Cup holder. Cool. Yeah, the other thing I'm thinking about too is my, my, my 18 had this, this plastic piece pops off. Okay. Um, you know, there's kind of a lip here. I wonder if there's a way to reinforce that or replace it or something. I don't. We'll see if they've changed the way they mount that, but it does look kind of flimsy on there. All right. And then I've got a pile of stuff. I wasn't really meaning to necessarily show this off, but I mentioned protecting the truck. I'm not nuts about detailing, um, but as long as it's clean now and it's probably as clean as it's ever going to be, uh, I'm going to 
polish it a little bit because whoever prepped this car before delivery, I think did it with a really dirty rag because it's already got pretty bad swirls in it. So I'm gonna polish it quickly. I'm gonna make an attempt at ceramic coating myself, which is something I've never done before. I would not ever pay somebody to do it because I don't care that much, but I'm kind of curious. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, I'm also gonna put in, this is from uh, ocdplug.com. I found these online. You guys talk about these on the forums. They're like overlays for that black piano plastic trim on the doors because those get swirled really really badly um just if you look at them wrong so i thought i'd try that as a solution and then um i got a carhartt bench seat cover to go over the back seat because uh, i have a dog a one and a half year old and a four and a half year old and i'm just not sure how well that suede is going to hold up uh to repeated abuse from them so <laughs> yep. we'll see We'll see. We'll share some of that with you, probably. I think that's it. Uh, the wheels. The, that was the other option that was on that sheet. Yeah, let's check those out. Is these are not. These are like the factory option. They're kind of a strange shape, right? Like this is this. It's kind of like a phone dial. This is not a wheel I would ever pick out of uh, you know a catalog. Yeah, you wouldn't expect it to look good, but no, it, it kind of works though. I don't. I think I suspect we'll end up changing these out um, for something else more more fun, but. Still pretty tough. We'll see. They're cool looking. I still have the bead locks from my 2018 rolling around somewhere. All In right. fact, I think one of them is our conference room table. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Table there. Yeah. And this is what Beanan was talking about. This is the uh, table in our entryway. That, uh... <laughs> You're such a child, dude. No, so Matt's talking about in the video how the current rims on the Raptor are funky looking and they are they look like a flower and how this was what he had before these are just a little more aggressive than what's on there right now but yeah, i think we're gonna more, like a little bit less rounded off yeah 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 they're pretty sweet all right so that is a bit of an overview and introduction for our 2023 raptor this will turn into a series of videos build build videos if you want to call them that uh, where we document how we use the truck for r d how we modify the truck the parts that we try we'll give you some reviews on those things We'll work with some of our friends and partners in the industry, um, and we will be documenting that over the course of the next few months. So it may not be every week, but we'll try and check in with you periodically. Check back next Monday.